In this video, I will show you how to use the merge node in N8N. So let's review fastly the documentation. So in this node, the first element to set up is uh, the mode. So you can append, meaning, for example, you have two lists, you have A, B, C, and D, F, and you just want to append them, meaning you, you just want to combine them. Uh, so you add one on top of the other. You can also combine. So as you can see, let's say you have one list where X equal one and equal Bob. And you have a second list where x equal 1 and c equal Berlin. So here you have x equal 1 in the two list. So you merge everything. You have x equal 1, n equal Bob from here, and c equal Berlin here. And you do this for each element. So this is not uh, append because you don't just append uh, one list to another one. But here uh, you mix it. So you combine it. You can also merge list uh, with the position. So, for example, if you have a, a list A, B, C, and D, F, the first element of the first list is A, the first element of the second list is uh, D, so you combine just A plus D, uh, B plus E, C plus F, etc. And finally, you have all possible combination. So, when you have two lists, you just want to create another list where uh, you will have all the possible combination of these two lists. So, A plus D, a plus E, B plus D, B plus E. But be careful with this because if one of your lists or your two lists are big, you will have a huge list as an output. Then you have uh, some combined mode option. So the one that are really interesting is uh, fuzzy compare. So basically when you will compare two lists or two elements of a list, you can use this mode to uh, tolerate type differences. So for example, if in a list you have an integer, so a number uh, that is a three, for example, and you have a string, so a text, where this is also written three, but in string. Here, for example, if you enable this mode, N8N uh, would say that these two elements are the same. Uh, you have also uh, multiple matches. So when two elements match in your list, uh, you will have just multiple matches, one for each match but you can also uh, choose to only include the first match, as you can see here. You can also make some SQL queries if you have some knowledge in SQL, but honestly, you will not really use this because, uh, let me go back, I think it was here, yeah. You can select the output type, and these are basically SQL queries. Like, as you can see, you have an inner join, you have an outer join here, a left join here, and a right join here. We can review them so you understand what type of output you can have. So first we have keep matches. So you just merge items that match. So this is like a linear join. You can keep non-matches item. So you merge items that don't match. So you will not really use that uh, a lot. You have keep everything. So you merge item together that do match and you include item that don't match. So this is like an outer join. You can enrich input one. So you keep all the data from input one and you add the matching data uh, from input two. So this is, for example, uh, like this. You have X equal one and equal Bob and you just add at the end C equal Berlin. And you have the opposite. So you take uh, the input two and uh, when it's match, you add uh, the rest of the input one. So here it would be uh, X equal one, C equal Berlin and N equal Bob. So let's go back uh, on N8N and review this workflow. So basically I took uh, this automation as an example. So let's say you have uh, names of people and their languages, and you have also another list of uh, greetings in different languages. And you want to merge them to have uh, the name of someone, his language, and the greeting in his language. So uh, this is a basic trigger. Here this is name plus language. So these are just JSON. So you have Stefan Dutch, Jim English, Hans Dutch, uh, as you can see here. And on the bottom you have uh, hello in English and hello in Dutch. And you want to merge everything here. So here, if we selected append, we would have the two lists merge into a single list. And that's it. We'd have uh, Stefan Dutch, Jim English, Hans Dutch. Uh, it was English, hello, and uh, Dutch, hello. So this is not what we want. We want to match element uh, one with each other. 
So this is where we use combine. And here there is a specific field that we want to uh, match between the two lists is the language. So you select matching field. And the field to match is language, as I said. And for the output type, we want uh, keep matches. This is the output type that you will mostly use. And we're using it because we're not interesting. For example, if we had uh, hola in Spanish and we don't have anyone that is Spanish, we will not use and we don't want uh, to see uh, Spanish and uh, hola. And the output data from is uh, both input merged together. So again, you will mostly use this one. And as you can see on the right side, we have uh, the name of the person, the language and the greeting in his language. I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments if you have any question regarding the merge module. Thank you for watching.